Join me as I prepare these delicious alkaline vegan tacos. We're going to start off by sifting our flour. You can feel free to use a flour based on your preference. There are so many varieties of approved flours out there. Examples of alkaline flours, amaran, kamut, rye, teff, and quinoa. Using 0 to 325 pounds of spelt flour and 3 ounces of spring water, we're going to mix together until all of the flour comes from the bowl. I like to start mixing from the outer corners and work my way in the middle to ensure every grain of flour receives ingredients used, and in this case, I'm only using water. I'm just going to sprinkle some spell flour onto the countertop and I'm going to knead the dough. We want it to be firm, not too soft and not too hard. So it's very important to watch this step because this is what keeps your tacos together and this is the base. So please watch carefully. So as you can see, I'm only putting the spell flour as I need it because when my hands start to get sticky, that's when I add the flour. But don't just bull rush the dough with flour. We like to play with flour sometime. Yes, use it wisely. So all I'm doing here is forming the dough into a medium circle. I cut it in half. From there, I divided each half into three, which gave us six. Now starting off with the first dough, we're just kneading it a little, forming it into a small circle. From there, we're going to use our rolling pin and roll it into a flat circle. Using a griddle, I'm going to preheat to 300 degrees for 10 minutes and whilst that is preheating, I will finish the rest of tacos. So if you need another glimpse of forming the spell tacos, you can watch now. So what I did to prevent the wrap from sticking, I just added some flour to the bottom of the countertop until it's time to cook. Yeah, so like I said, I'm showing you guys again how I did the spell tacos. You know, some people will be like, oh, you're moving too fast in the videos. But, you know, starting off in YouTube, I'm learning whether long form videos works or short form videos work. And I'm hearing both good and bad reviews. Both good reviews. Sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing both good reviews on long form and short form videos. I think if it's something that you really would like to learn, then you would definitely watch a video no matter how long it is some videos if it's not that interesting to me i wouldn't sit down and watch it forever i'll skip through it but if it's something that i really would like to learn how to do i would watch that if it's 30 minutes long and so and for this type of food you need to prep it and it takes time and effort and so yeah i figured you might want to know how to do this
So the griddle is now heated and I'm going to be using some avocado oil, using a pastry brush to spread it. And then I'm going to put two tacos at a time. And when you see tiny bubble, it's ready to flip. So I'm just showing you how they came out. Some came out crispier than the other. So yeah, let's get started making the other ingredients. For the salsa, we're putting 16 ounce avocado. Using a pastry blender, we're going to mash until mushy. Adding in 2 ounce bell peppers, 4 ounce tomatoes, and 2 ounce onions. Then we're going to squeeze, using my old faithful squeezer, some key lime juice. We will add 2 tablespoons of lime juice, 2 a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, and two teaspoons of agave sweetener. Then we're going to mix together until everything is evenly distributed. Put in the refrigerator until everything is finished. For the mushrooms, they're going into the food processor, so cut them into big chunks. And then after you're done with that, you're gonna puree until it is fine. So this is the texture that you are aiming for. Using a preheated pan, one teaspoon of avocado oil, two ounce onion, bell peppers, one teaspoon of thyme, mix together and you're going to let brown. Next, add in your mushroom ground beef, two a quarter teaspoon of oregano, cayenne pepper, basil, sea salt, and onion powder. Next, we're going to mix together until all seasonings is evenly distributed. And for two minutes, we're going to let it simmer. So we're just going to add it to a bowl and we're going to let it sit aside. We're just dicing some plum tomatoes and then slicing up some romaine lettuce for our tacos. So we've got our tacos ready, romaine lettuce, plum tomatoes, avocado salsa, and the mushroom ground beef. Let's put together. So we're just adding some romaine lettuce first. And we're going to put some avocado salsa. Feel free to put how much you want, but based on the size of the taco, I use my discretion. And then we're going to add some of the mushroom ground beef. So one, I won't put any of the mushroom ground beef. So just be like an avocado taco. Then we're going to put some of the plum tomatoes on top of the ground beef. I like spice, so we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of cayenne over the tacos. Feel free to check out my other alkaline vegan recipes. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos or see you in my next video.